Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about massage therapy and my journey into really developing my career as a massage therapist and hopefully one day opening up my own spa and I'm here to help you all as well in this journey of becoming a massage therapist. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about the Emblex and all the resources and tools that I use to study for the Emblex and hopefully take it in the beginning of next year. All right, so first let me explain what the Emblex is. So the Emblex stands for the Massage and Bodywork Licensing Exam and it was developed and administered by the Federation of State Massage Therapy Boards. And pretty much this is the most common exam for massage therapists in the United States. So basically 46 states and US territories must take this exam to become a licensed massage therapist. This exam is designed based on massage job task analysis surveys that reflect the practical knowledge and skills which massage therapists need to know to perform their job safely and effectively and function as a professional massage therapist. It is also a 100 multiple choice question test and is offered at the Pearson View Testing Center. So I'm actually a certified massage therapist, so I'm not licensed just yet. However, in California, they do not require you to take the test, which is very interesting. I think this happened around 2019 when I had first started massage school. So for me, I started massage school in 2019 and because of the pandemic, I didn't actually graduate until 2021. So during that whole time period, taking the Emblex was on hiatus, and so I never got to take it. And that's why right after school, I did all the necessary steps to become a certified massage therapist right away and get a job. However, I am now studying for the Emblex because I may be moving to a state that requires you to have the Emblex. So this is why I'm studying and I'm trying to find resources in order to pass this test. Before 2019, a lot of massage therapy schools really trained you for this test. And don't get me wrong, my massage therapy school was amazing. I went to the San Francisco School of Massage and Bodywork. However, they didn't really focus on taking the Emblex and what specific materials to study because I didn't have to take it. I did learn so much about anatomy at the time and you know how the body works in order to massage safely and correctly. So all the material that I've learned is still in my head. However, I did my research and I really tried to find specific courses online that could help me refresh my mind and really um, bring back the knowledge that I learned from school. So one of the first resources that I used was actually from the fsmtv.org website. So this is the website that administers the Emblex test. So this website will tell you everything that you need to know about the Emblex exam and what will be on it, what percentage of the materials will be on the exam as well. So I would recommend looking into this website, reading all about the Emblex. And they also have other information such as like specific schools you can go to to become a massage therapist. They have um, their own section on continuing education and they give you a whole bunch of study materials for the Emblex. So for me, I actually downloaded and purchased the official study guide for the Emblex. So let me go ahead and pull that up right now. And let me tell you that this was around like 30 to $35, I'm not sure, because it does tell you specifically what will be on the test. So this is what the FSM TV study guide looks like. And of course I won't show you everything because you know, they do want you to purchase this study guide, but pretty much they tell you all the subjects that are going to be on the test. As you see here, these are all the subjects that will be on the test. So there's anatomy and physiology, kinesiology, pathology, benefits and sociological effects of techniques, client assessments, ethics boundaries, laws, and of course, guidelines for professional practice. So as you can see from the study guide itself, it doesn't actually give you materials to study, you know what I mean? It tells you all the study points of what will be on the test. However, it doesn't provide lessons for you. You know, it's not like a, a full-on booklet that you can use to study for the test. It just tells you the important points that are going to be on the test. As you can see, you know, the digestive system, let's go into benefits and sociological effects and yeah so it has all this important information for you 
So because it doesn't have like specific information and material for me to study, I kind of had a hard time using this study guide for me. I am the type of person that like I have to have my own booklet and I have to have like a place where all the information is stored. Even with my binders from school, I would have to like look through everything and find everything to study in different sections of my notebooks. So that is why I did my research and I actually purchased a course from the Emblex Guide. And the website is emblexguide.com. So I would recommend you all to look into this prep course and really see if this really matches your way of studying. What really helps me is the comprehensive online prep course. So within all the subjects that are going to be on the Emblex, they have all these courses for you and a bunch of different practice quizzes and tests that are really helping me learn the materials. Let me go ahead and sign into my account. So right now I'm gonna go into the prep courses. So I'm gonna press that. And then, as you can see, there are 30 lessons that I will be studying. And in each lesson, it has different things you can study. Like for example, lesson number one. It already has everything that I need to be studying for the test. And even the yellow highlights, I actually use that. And I use my flashcards in order to study. So everything that I'm learning with each, with each lesson, I'm going to put into my flashcards. So I have a whole bunch of flashcards that I'm using to study and it's really helping me to remember what I've learned from school, especially when it comes to like muscle review. This is what it looks like for the muscle review, so it tells you everything you need to know, even study tips. And then of course, over here you can see the trapezius, the levator scapula, all of that. It tells you everything from the origin and to the action of that muscle. So. This is really helping me. So here is the course syllabus as well. So this is everything that you will be learning and everything that will be on the Emblex as well. So it's very detailed and I cannot wait to learn all of this. And over here it tells you what percentage is going to be on the test. Like for example, anatomy and physiology, um, it'll only be 11% of the test. And then pathology and contraindications will be 14% of the test. So that is important information right over there. And then this website also gives you muscle tables that you can look over and put into your flashcards. It gives you um, a separate course on learning muscles in 60 days. And also it gives you like free massage forms that you can use for your private practice. So there are a lot of resources on this website. And for me, the course was around, I believe, like 50 or $60 for all this information. However, there are specific um, prices for the courses. So for me, it was around 50 or $60 for the silver plan. And the silver plan gives you six months access into this whole course. So there's different like there's different time frames that you can pay for. I believe there's three. There's like one month, six months, and twelve months that you can pay for. So I think I should be good by six months. You know, I I think I I hopefully I can take this test by the beginning of next year so that I can get everything set for if I ever plan to move. And I'll tell you guys more about that later on. So yes, I do use this website to study for the Emblex. And then of course I have my flashcards as well. And then I also use this app for iPads. It's called Good Notes app, where I can take notes, especially when it comes to images for me. Images are very important. I'm a visual learner. So I put all these images on Good Notes and I take different notes on specific um, parts of the body. So this one is the circulatory system. So I have a whole bunch of notes on that as well. So I use good notes, I use flashcards, and I use the Emblex guide website, and that is basically what I'm going to be using as a guide for me, and hopefully everything goes well with the Emblex test. And yeah, that is pretty much what I have for today, everyone. And if you want me to go more in depth on Emblex and how I study, let me know down below. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me as well right over here. I am wishing you well on this massage therapy journey. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.